As we come to the 12th chapter in the book of Revelation, I mean, listen to the title, it's a little scary. The Woman and the Dragon. I mean, this part of the book of Revelation has so much to share with us about what's to come. And for us this morning, there's no way that I can unpack all of the truth, its implications and its applications for you and for me this morning. But here's one thing we do see from Revelation chapter 12. It's that the devil is defeated and that God is victorious. Let me read to you from the 12th chapter of the book of Revelation, starting in verse 10. John writes, I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens. It has come at last, salvation and power in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to earth, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. And they have defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. Therefore, rejoice, O heavens, and you who live in the heavens rejoice. But terror will come on the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you in great anger, knowing that he has a little time. There's so much in this chapter, so much truth about what's to come, but really what's significant for us, I think especially during this Christmas season, is how meaningful and how powerful the arrival of Jesus truly is. See, at Christmas we celebrate Jesus born in a manger. But remember, Jesus came, though as a humble servant to die on a cross, it's through his death, burial, and resurrection that he conquered sin and death. And one day he's coming again, oh, not as a baby in a manger, but as a conquering king. And as John witnesses here in what's recorded for us in the 12th chapter of the book of Revelation, he says that he comes in the authority of the Christ, the Messiah. So as we celebrate Christmas this year, I want us to not look around and get distressed, look down and get depressed, but look up and be impressed by the reality that Jesus is King. And then at Christmas time, we celebrate that death has been defeated. The enemy, that, that dragon of Revelation chapter 12, well, his venom, his might, his bite has been taken away because Jesus has come. So this Christmas season, may we make much of Jesus, our conquering King.